everybody. It's a beautiful foggy day. It's a bit nippy. <laughs> well, I thought I'll show you my Christmas tree in the daylight with my Polish blue <laughs> Christmas tree. Da -da! And today I am going to um, season my cast iron. Not all of them. I'm just going to season one because I've realised I haven't brought enough oil with me. So um, I will just show you them. So this one is a totally different one. It's more silver, um, but it's still cast iron, so you still have to um, season these as well. Um, I bought a mini uh, skillet. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute, so I bought that one. And then a frying pan, a uh, flat for doing um, pancakes. And this is my skillet that you might have seen in some of my videos before. It's already um, well seasoned so I won't be doing that today. I'll be using it later. Um, but yeah, I love this one, it's great. Now, this one is a different matter. Um, I'm not having much luck with this one. It has a lovely uh, lid holder to take off your lid when the fire's hot. Um, but this one it has legs. As you can see there, it's quite heavy and it's for doing stews in, uh, bread and stuff like that. But it keeps going rusty. And it's very heavy. So in here, as you can see, it's very rusty in there. So I'm going to be seasoning that and popping it on the fire to um, lock it all in. Um, so I'll be lighting this fire shortly. Um, so in here, I have some nice hot water and um, I have my pair, pair of rubber gloves. I have my olive oil because I haven't got any other oil and I have my salt and washing up liquid and here I have some paper towels, a chain for cleaning um, cast iron and these scratcher uh, for scraping the cast iron and the um, uh, tissue for wiping them wiping it dry um, I'm not an expert at doing um, cast iron <laughs> so this is all new to me I've watched a few videos um, so some people don't use salt, some people do. Everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, I have seen as well that when you've actually done it with these big ones here with the lid, you can actually put a piece of cardboard to stop the lid from um, closing properly so that it can breathe and put uh, rice in the bottom after it's all done um, to soak up any moisture. So um, I'm, I haven't got any um, rice with me and I haven't got any um, card, well actually I have got cardboard, but I'll be just taking it home as it is and then sorting it out when I get home. So um, now all is to do is to take these ones off, um, light the fire while I prepare this for you, which I'll show you in a moment. Well everybody. I've lit the fire and the smoke is coming towards me. <laughs> I think I'm going to go around the back of the fire <laughs> so that I can uh, show you how rusty my pots are. <laughs> Look at that, it's awful isn't it? Um, very bad. So um, I'm going to have a go to season it and um, to seal it in the fire. Well, not in the fire, fire on top of the fire. Because um, apparently um, you have to put it in a cooker or something for an hour. And um, it was, it will be fun to do it like this. And uh, it's a bit cheaper too. So um, yeah, so I'm going to wait until that fire uh, warms up a bit more. And in the meantime, I'm going to start um, seasoning this. So I'm going to have a go. So um, I will be back in a minute. Well, hi everybody. Um, I'm ready to 
um, have a go at seasoning my pan and lid. So um, wish me luck. So first of all, I need to put my gloves on. my hot water. So I'm going to put some of my hot water inside the pan and inside this one. With a little bit of washing up liquid. Now I'm going to use this This chain is just lots of little circles um, so that it doesn't scratch or hurt the um, cast iron. a lather of soap together here <laughs> and the water is turning um, rust colour <laughs> so I'm just going to have a go in this way I got a bit carried away there. The um, uh, stuff's all bubbling up there, which is good, and the water's discolouring, which is good. So uh, I will get back to you soon. Everybody, <laughs> I'm back. I've washed these out, and you can actually see um, that they're a lot cleaner. Um, from the rust that they wear <laughs> and this one also you can actually see well I can see that um, I've actually uh, managed to get some of it off um, I think what I'm going to do is um, buy some of the silver scouring scarers scars <laughs> uh, scara um, another go another time. In the meantime I will dry these out on there. I won't put the oil in because that will season it. That will hold the rust in which I don't want. 
so I'm just going to put these on the fire just to dry them out um, and then they'll be all right to take home nice and dry um, and then I will come back and have another go and um, wish me luck so if any of you out there um, has any um, ideas for me um, I would love them thank you very much um, put your ideas in the comments and uh, thank you very much for watching sorry it didn't end up how I was hoping it to um, but it's a lot harder there was more rust in here than what I thought but never mind <laughs> I've still got the others that I can well the one pan that I can cook on later and I've got some uh, stainless steel stuff too so um, yeah so I'm going to put these on the fire now to dry them off <laughs> So that will uh, that will be nice to uh, so they'll be nice and dry then. So thank you very much for watching. Um, not so much a disaster, but um, having a go. <laughs> That's what I can say. I've had a go. <laughs> so thank you very much, and see you again soon. Bye for now. Well, hello everybody. I'm sitting nice and cosy by the fire. It is starting to go down, so I do need to top it up. And um, I've just made myself a lovely hot chocolate, army rations hot chocolate, which is so nice. My favorite. <laughs> so cheers everybody. And as you can see behind me, it is still foggy. It's lifted a bit, not as um, dense as it was earlier, but uh, cheers goes down well on a nice cold day. <laughs>